Relative to the rest of the barrens, Touristville is a neon-clothed oasis. At its heart is the Seamstresses Union, housed in an old brownstone building at the corner of Illegal and Opportunity. Bums huddle together, gangers strut the streets, and the occasional salaryman comes slumming. The Union building has been retrofitted, rebuilt, and restored so many times that it's like an aging starlet wearing too much makeup in an attempt to stay young. The wild ivy growing out of the gutters adds to the effect. As you enter, you hear the murmur of hushed conversation washes over you. The bot dive bar denizens raise their heads, take your measure, and then go back to their business. This is the kind of place where everyone knows your name, but they keep it to themselves. Um, no, I'm good. I don't need to load anything. I'm, I'm good, man. What the hell? All right. Um, cool. Do do cherry bomb. Eric M Eric Melsman. Other dudes, let's kind of scope this place a little bit. Big guy, Mr. Cluey. Don't want to fight that dude. We got gin. Let's start over here. Oh, come on. There we go. Gin Parks. The Asian woman's expression reads open for business, but her demeanor reads dealer rather than companion. She has a jack on her neck, a gun on her hip, and a chip on her shoulder. She eyes you with a sneer. You look like you could use some firepower. Something simple. I got guns so smart they practically fire themselves. You looking for tech? Some of that too, if that's the way you roll. Show me what you got, bubblegum. Let's see here. Ooh, I can get a machete. Hmm. I think I am going to buy a machete. Just on the off chance that's something I like to do. Let's see. Um... Yeah, makeshift homemade shotgun. I really don't need... I mean, I'm gonna eventually... Maybe I will upgrade to a machete and a... It's almost all of my money, but you never know. Could be could be worth it. Alright, um... Can I even use that? Uh, frag grenade, whatever. Let's do it. Um... Yeah, cool. So I got my AK-97 and my... Alright, cool. And I guess you don't have to buy ammo in this game. You just sort of uh, buy the weapon and then you, you do have to reload it, but it's like Fallout. You don't really run out. Um, let's talk to this guy. That's not how Coyote does it. Hey, 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 hey. Coyote is the person that served Sam. <clears throat> hey, I got some extra outfits I'm trying to unload. You want dibs? I'll take a look. Secure ninja clothing. The tourist look. Salish Runner, Armaturgic Armor, the Black Hat. Secure it up, secure clothing, Decker clothing, Mage clothing, Rigor clothing, Shaman clothing. Um, I kind of like the Salish Runner nonsense. I'd prefer not to be a ninja, but this charisma thing might help me out a bit. I can't, I can't afford the alley punk with the glowing gas mask. So let's do this seems good. Let's pop this guy on. See how I look. Oh, for real? Look like fucking World of Warcraft bullshit. Alright, whatever. We'll live with it. Or apparently we... Oh, there we go. No thanks, man. Alright. Hey, Cherry. Let's talk. Bartender is a striking elf, sporting a perfectly toned body, perfectly potty lips, perfectly tapered ears. Her eyes harmonize, save me and take me in equal measure, hitting just the right notes for maximum extraction of tips. Orcs are used to sneers from beauties like this, but she smiles sweetly when she sees you. She doesn't know I just spent all my money on this outfit. Hey there, I haven't seen you before. What can I get you? Something dirty and a clean glass, sweetness. Oh, a hard case. I like that. Okay, hard case. I'll get you something stiff. She starts to turn away when a man with the face of a survivor and the zeal of a convert tugs at her arm. It's, cl it's hard. It's clear these two have a history, but they try to keep their voices low, but the intensity of their conversation makes them easy to overhear. Shane, Cherry, you have to listen to me. If you stick around, you could end up dead or worse. The Ripper is out there, and he's real. 
The last killing happened just down the block, and now Coyote's missing. They'll probably find her tomorrow in a dumpster without her head. Come on, Cherry Bomb, think. I think plenty, Shane. I'm getting fired freaking D from the UW in neuroprosthetics. Stundering under urgements. How am I paying for it? Bartending. Tips. There's a faster way for... There are faster ways for a Baron's girl to earn that kind of scratch, but I'm not taking them. So what do you want from me? I want what you want. A better life. A better world. For everyone. The Universal Brotherhood can give it to you. You know what? Take your Mormon shit and get out of here. I've heard this all before. This isn't some trick to get us back together. Their things are different now. I'm different now. The Brotherhood. Cherry Bomb's pretty face is hard. Armored in lipstick and low expectations. The writing in this game is awesome. The Universal Brotherhood is for other people, shame. Rich Bellevue types who can afford their membership fees and voluntary donations. This isn't about money. This is about binding the world together in brotherhood. Come with me. Attend a discovery meeting. Get to the core of who you are. Okay. I heard Lynn Tesliston give a talk last night called The Who Family of the Sixth World. I've got a family right here, Shane. They're drunks. They're lowlifes and whores. But I choose them over any of your brotherhood members. Now buzz. I need to get back to work. With body language that leaves no question that the conversation is over, Cherry Bomb turns her back to him. Sorry, I got interrupted. I heard. He's got the strength of the righteous, doesn't he? Her pretty eyes narrow. Be careful whose conversations you listen in on here. Some folks aren't as friendly as I am. Alright, alright. You've got a look that says you're not just here for entertainment. Are you a badge? Do I look like a cop in this outfit? No, baby. You look like someone who knows the shadows. You're trained to spot a bronze the minute they walk in here. Something I can help you with? I have a few questions, Cherry. The guy mentioned Coyote. Is she here? No. I think she's way on business. Business, huh? Is she a shaman with a name like Coyote? No. She shot a coyote once, thinking it was a shaman who double-crossed her. We've been calling her Coyote ever since. Alright. She's been missing for a couple of days now. Some of the people think the Ripper got her. But I know her. Coyote can take care of herself. How about... You ever hear about Sam? Sam was a regular customer here. A regular pain in the ass for as long as I've been here. He talked a big game, but he was always broke. As soon as he got any money in his pocket, he went straight to his head. Chips, drugs, or booze. Ke Coyote had a soft spot for him, though. Did you see Sam on the night he died? No, that was Coyote Shift. Well, we knew that. Um, who's that kook you were talking to? Shane, old boyfriend. He used to work here, but then one day he saw a billboard for the Universal Brotherhood, and that was that. He went to a meeting, made new friends, and moved in with them. I was happy for him until he started coming around trying to recruit me. I don't need that dreck. Uh, who runs this place? I want to talk to the boss. That would be Miss Kubota, and she's in the back room. You can't miss her. Wiz. Thanks, Cherry. Talk to you later. Alright, let's hit the back room. Posted at the doorway to the VIP section is a tower of mo troll muscle wrapped in an impossibly tailored suit. Whether the product of good genes or expensive aftermarket cosmetic work, the troll's gleaming horns perfectly frame his face, and his polished tux, tusks and goatees accentuate the set of lantern jaw. Welcome. Please behave yourself. Will do. You get trouble in here? Nothing a stern look can't solve. Um, I'm a friend of Sam Watts, you know. Sure, everyone here knew Sam. Shame to lose a part of the family. There's a sharpness in his eyes, the look of a man who's seen much and earned wisdom at a young age. Figure Sam was the type to be <laughs> thrown out of here occasionally. Encouraged to call it a night, I'd say. Sam was a drunk, but he usually wasn't a violent one. Usually? He was a bit agitated. Didn't catch the specifics. Might have been over a woman. Thought I was going to have to show him out, but I had to deal with a couple of rival go-gangers posturing for one of the working girls upstairs. Jake helped Sam out instead. Thanks for the info. wonder where Jake is. Jake, that guy over here that sold me the armor. No, oh, it's Eric. All right, so Jake's someone else to talk to here. Johnny Clean. Noog. There's Muse Kubota. That's cool. <laughs> Hold on for a second. What the hell is going on with this guy? That is the least interesting strip show I have ever seen. All right, well, whatever. Let's uh, get back to it here. Johnny Clean. Let's talk to this guy. 
Man dressed like a janitor, but he's wearing unusually clean overalls. He's tall, rail thin, and has a cunning look in his eyes that says he's more than just the maintenance man. Howdy, your name's Johnny Clean. You new? First time? Just getting a look at the place. Well, enjoy yourself. This looks like your type of place. I'm just sweeping up a bit. Yeah, yeah, my ass you are. Alright, what about Noog? What up, buddy? Covered in magical glowing talismans and fetishes, the troll does not seem fully of this world. He mumbles to himself constantly and apparently participating in several conversations at once. But with entities you can neither see nor hear. I told you, it's not like that. Bring me proof and you shall have it. I'm honored, your majesty. That was why I said to use mustard instead of catsup. Forgive me, Gene, I was a fool. He looks you in the eye. His other eye... <laughs> his other conversation's on hold. You can pursue your magical wares? Alright. I don't think I'm gonna do magic. I think I'm gonna do some costume. Alright, cool. Other stuff. But, alright. Good deal. Let's see. Let's talk to the boss lady. Miss Kubota watches you from across the room, sizing you up as you approach. You get closer and you see that she's of mixed race, African and Japanese. Her demeanor says, this is my house, Meth mess with it at your peril. But her eyes twinkle with a playful light when she speaks. Kambanwa, good evening. Why aren't you a big, powerful orc? Are you enjoying the seamstress's union? There should be plenty for you, for a man like you to enjoy. Or are you on business? Business, beautiful. I suspected as much when you walked in, oh my. What business would you have with me? I'm looking for information. Of course you are. Knowledge is power. So I've been told. So, Ka, why should I, te why should I help you? Um, Sam Watts, I'm looking for his killer. So you are the little insurance policy he would go on about when he was drunk. His avenging angel who would strike back for him from beyond the grave. What do you want to know? How well did you know Sam? I knew him. We all did. Sam was a regular here. Whenever he would beg, borrow, or, uh, or beg or borrow enough Nuyen to come and get altered in some way, drugs, chips, alcohol, didn't matter to Sam as long as he was bent. He was always looking for his next fix. Clung to this pace like it was his lifeline. And we treated him like part of the family. Even if none of us truly liked him, except for Coyote. Can you tell me where to find Coyote? That I would if I could, but I haven't seen her in two days. She's a smart woman and dangerous, but I fear for her. Please. If you are what you think you are, you know, there's always someone more dangerous. Her room is upstairs. If you're looking for her, I invite you to examine it. You may be able to uncover her whereabouts. That's nice of you. I would not normally betray her privacy in this way, but she's missed two shifts now, and I cannot be reached by Calm. It's unlike her. She has something has happened. I will not have an action on my conscience. Here's you the key. All right, cool. Thanks, boss. Let's head upstairs. All right, that was a fair bit of talking, so I think we'll end here, and we'll pick it right back up in a minute.